Hey guys, this is my video for all of my aspiring models. Now before I get into it, it's going to take me five minutes. Make sure you like and you subscribe to my channel. So many of you are on Instagram asking me questions and I'm like, I've done a whole video about it. Um, so please, please, please like, subscribe um, and share with any girls that you might know that are aspiring models too. You probably just saw my Instagram video. My number one tip is never ever change for anyone. If I changed for the people that didn't believe in me from the beginning, I would not be where I am today. Fact. For the people that said, you're not international, your hips are too big, maybe if you dyed your hair a little darker, change, 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 change. When you change to please someone else, you lose a little piece of yourself. And it is you that makes yourself special. Number two, also change breeds insecurity. When I have thought about changing myself, all it did was breed insecurity. Am I not enough as I am right now? You are enough exactly as you are. Number two, don't take no for an answer. If I gave up at the first hurdle when the first person said no to me, I would not be where I am today. I would not be 23 sitting in LA, a living in LA, a working model. No way in hell. My first modeling agency in Perth went to their development program, did everything right. They signed everybody else. Did they sign me? No. Why? Because I didn't fit their mold. My hips were too big. I was too commercial. You'll never be international. If I had listened to all the people that have put me down and not believed in me over the years, there's no way in hell I would be where I am today. I moved to the other side of the country as soon as they said no to me, and I got another no. So I worked my five jobs until somebody believed in me. And I'm still with the agent that first ever believed in me in Sydney at Scoop. Sarah, you're amazing. Love you. Um, but honestly, just don't, don't take no for an answer. Number three, do not wait for when I'm busy I will, or when I've got my first job, or when I start traveling, to look after your physical and mental health. That is how I got myself sick. Because I didn't have the foundation in place to look after myself to an optimum. Because this industry is, it's taxing on the mind. It's taxing on the body. It's pretty taxing on just about everything. Your emotions, constant rejection, constantly, is this client gonna like me? Constantly going to castings and not getting casted. There's a lot of stuff that's not glamorous that everybody sees on Instagram. Make sure you are looking after your body. Not to lose weight, not to please other people, looking after your body because it's gonna give you a strong foundation to get you through your day. Looking after the mind. This is literally why I created Joy, a place for girls to go to, to look after their mind and have their healthy body follow. Make sure that is in place from day one when you decide I'm gonna be a model. And by the way, the more you say it out loud, the more you believe it, the more the universe will bring that to you. So start believing it right now if that's really what you want. My last tip, don't compare yourself to anyone else. If you're doing it already and you haven't started modeling, that is the beast that honestly destroys so many girls' self-love and self-confidence. When I first started in this industry, damn. I got onto Instagram quite late. I would look at all these girls that were my age that had been modeling, you know, for five years already and I had just started. And I'd be like, oh, I wish I had what they have. I wish I could do what they do. I wish I looked the way that they do. And it ate me up inside. Now, if you're doing that already before you started modeling, work on that, work on yourself before you enter an industry that is all about this. Because you know what all that makes you do? Is look at other people. Because it's fickle. 
And I'm sorry that I know probably a lot of this sounds really negative, it's not, but it's just real. It's real facts. It's what I've dealt with. It's what I've gone through. So never compare yourself to anyone else because being you is what will get you success in this industry. Owning who you are, your uniqueness, what you looked like, what's going on up here, your voice, everything about you will set you apart from everybody else. So don't do what that person's telling you. Lose weight, put on weight, do this, do that. Just be you. Get rid of all the noise. Don't worry about it. That is what sets you out from all the rest. Because that's what modeling is. It's a game of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of beautiful, beautiful people all fighting for the same dream. And you know the only thing that will honestly make you achieve that dream is by owning who you are. Being the best version of yourself. They are my tips. I love you guys. I'll also do another video on my tricks of modeling, maybe some posing, you never know. Um, but I'll do another video for you. All my love.